Kristen Michelle Norton. From the first time I rode in your red Jeep, seeing you rock out to the Top Gun soundtrack with your long blonde hair blown in the wind and lyrics of highway to the danger zone invading my ears, I knew that I had to have you. From day one, I always had, you, you have always had a maverick spirit and it would be an honor for me to be your goose. <laughs> Minus hitting the aircraft canopy when trying to eject. <laughs> To start my vows today, I would like to answer some of 50 Cent's 21 questions about us. <laughs> Kristen, as your husband, I promise to love you when you cry just as much as when you smile. If you write a love letter, I promise to always write back. I promise to love you if you decide to drive a hoopty instead of a Benz, and I promise to always be your best friend. Abel Christopher Diaz. I vow to be patient with you and to come alongside you as your teammate, your cheerleader, your helper, your lover, and your friend. I vow to be courageous and incredibly kind, to be your greatest fan and your strongest encourager. I vow to be gentle with you <laughs> and to watch my tone. I vow to all to allow each day to be a new day for us and to leave all that's been to stay in the past as part of our beautiful story. I vow to be a safe place of shelter for you, a place your heart can call home. If you decide to drive a bus and flip burgers at Burger King, I promise to be right by your side so you are always feeling me. I promise to love you when you make mistakes. When it comes to us, I promise to do whatever it takes and to love you more than a fat kid loves cake. If you got locked up for a quarter century, I promise to love and support you mentally. I promise to never leave you and love all your style. And I promise to do anything and everything to make you smile. If you fall tomorrow, I will still love you. And if you didn't smell good, I would still hug you. <laughs> Lastly, I promise to treat you how you want to be treated and to listen to you so you can teach me how. Our bond is forever deep, and I promise to never break these vows. Kristen, as your husband, I promise to always put God first in our house and to honor you as his favorite daughter. I promise to raise our children as God's favorite and to love them unconditionally. And lastly, I promise to forever be faithful to you. I vow to honor you with my words, my actions, and my heart. I vow to fight for you and to adjust whatever I need to adjust in me to protect our connection. I vow to love you in the way that requires my best and to hold on to my end of the rope no matter what you do and never let go. I vow to love you with a fearless love as my husband and companion. I vow to never level off and to never give up on my pursuit for Jesus and to love you from that place of intimacy with him as my center and my model. I vow to be a delight and a joy to you, to be a power facing you, a strength opposite you, and a rescue that looks you right in the face. I vow to give you all of me in all my forms with all my heart for the rest of my life. I vow to love you with all I have through all your dicky shorts, <laughs> as my husband and companion who God has entrusted in me from this day forward. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privileges that are ours of being part of the body of Christ. We've come together this afternoon to watch the miracle of your love and the power of your spirit work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory for the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Father, union with the Son, union with the Holy Spirit, and union one with another. We thank you for it, in Jesus' mighty name, amen.
how wonderful God is and to have patience and wait on God for that right person, waiting for your best friend. And when you marry your best friend and communicate and allow God to do the magic, not yourselves, but allow God to do the magic in the marriage, they will last forever. I immediately fell in love, and she was actually better than the descriptions I got from everybody. And then she came over and gave me the biggest hug and kiss, and I just melted away. And then I told Linda, we, we got to get her to California so she can meet, meet the, the gang. I'm sure they'll approve, and they, they have, and they did.